What's going on? This be your boy Scotty, and we're here for Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Season 8, Episode 16, okay? Listen, I'm ready for this shit to be over. Very much so. Ready for it to be over. I'm over this damn show. Let's get to the real tea, which is Hollywood, okay? But I'm late. You know, I just got back, as you all know, from Jersey yesterday. So I'm kind of late getting these videos out. But, you know, in due time, in due time. But after Basketball Wives tomorrow, we will be back on point. And I have to do... You know, I have to do rants. I haven't done none. I have to do rants about little Nas coming out. I gotta do rant like I need to talk about certain things. I just gotta get my reality reviews out the way first so I can really dig into what the fuck I wanna talk about. So let's just get into this review. So we're gonna start off with Imani. Now she wants Scrappy. She wants to have this big birthday party. And she wants Scrappy and Bambi to come. She wants all of her family to be there. And rightfully so, I mean, it's her birthday party, her 14th birthday. She wants everybody to be involved. And it sucks that she has to really sit down and have this heart-to-heart -heart with her daddy and her mama so they can all get along. And I understand what Scrappy's saying. Him and Erica really ain't got no relationship. They really ain't been getting along as far as parenting goes. But whatever E-Money wants, E-Money's gonna get so, Shekana, Sierra, and Spice, they go wine tasting, and, um, they pretty much start, Shekana starts talking to them about, um, Akbar V, and how she came to Rashida's event to try to embarrass her, and Sh Spice wanted to know what was her issue with Akbar. She said that Akbar used to have a baby by somebody that she used to fool with, and Akbar has been coming for her ever since. And you know, she was saying that she was in the studio and all of that stuff, and if she had spent more time with her kids, with the child that she got by that man, then she would be somewhere. So Spice took that personal, and I feel like the reason why Spice took it personal is because she's not around her damn kids. And, the, and you know, she has a reason why she's not around her kids. I mean, she is trying to get her career on point, but I think that's why she took offense to that. But Akbar really isn't the best mom. And I don't want to listen. I'm going to tell you right now. Don't come in my motherfucking comments trying to tell me how the fuck I'm supposed to feel. Akbar ain't shit to me, okay? She's not. So fuck her, okay? So ever since she's been on, I don't give a fuck if she is a real ass bitch, what she do on Instagram and all of that dumb shit. The bitch ain't shit to me and that's just what it is. She's not. She's a stupid ass bitch and all she does is keep up drama and I don't like her. Point blank. And you know... Spice got real offended. She's talking about don't bring the kids into it. And I don't feel like she was bringing her kids into it. I just feel like she was talking about her motherhood. But at the same time, the way that I feel about everybody coming from Onis and her motherhood, I kind of feel like it should. Y'all need to just leave it be. You know what I mean? Like, you ain't got to talk about her as a mother. Just talk about her. You, you have a lot of other things to talk about besides her motherhood. Talk about how much of a trash-ass person she is. Y'all ain't got to go into her motherhood. But, you know, eventually they, they squash this shit, you know. So, Kendra wants to go and meet up with Cena and Alex. And they want to, you know, meet up with Kendra, vibe her out, see how she is. And Cena's puffball face ass just couldn't wait to tell Kendra a bunch of bullshit about the stuff that she's heard about jocking in the, in the beauty salon. Now she done got Kendra fucking pissed about this whole situation with Sharonda and all of that. I honestly feel like Cena still wants Jock. She never got over Jock and she really don't want Kendra to be with Jock. I don't feel like she do and that's just what it is. So now Cena, you was messy as fuck for that and Kendra went and confronted Jock about it. And Jock was sitting, was sitting up here like, how you gonna listen to my baby mama? Like, why would you listen to them? Like, why won't you just hear me out and listen to what I gotta say? And Kendra was like, well, it can't be a lie if several different people are saying it. Honestly, when more than one person saying this shit, it got to be some type of truth to it. So Jock comes up in there and he goes to fuck off on Cena and basically tell her, why would you go and tell my having personal conversations with my girl about some fucking rumors? Why won't you come to me with that shit? You know, and Cena felt like, well, I felt like she needed to know. She really didn't give a fuck and that's just what it was. And Jock was pissed the fuck off and he walked off. So Spice and Akbar have a conversation. <laughs> And um, they kind of reach common ground. You know, they kind of squash their beef. And um, she goes in and they talk about the situation with Shekinah. And Spice really wants to put everybody together and get them all together so they can just get over their beef and get over their issues. Because it's really not worth it. And it was nice to see them bond over motherhood and knowing how hard it is to be a mother in this industry. And how you have to leave your children behind sometimes to make a better life for them. So... 
I give kudos to Spice for this. Spice has grown on me over the last couple of episodes, I will say that. So, Sierra and the guy back with BK. Now it's time for Erica's baby shower, and um, in the midst of the baby shower, Rashida invites Mama D to a mother's brunch. She wants to get all the mothers together and have a good time. And, um, you know, Mama D is all for it. She wants to have the mothers there and the daughters there so they can all celebrate motherhood. Then Mimi and Sierra and Spice, they all check up on Tokyo Vanity because they know that Tokyo ain't really been around lately. And Tokyo got a lot of shit going on. And she the type of bitch like, I'm the life of the party, I'm this, I'm that, but when I'm going through something, I got to step away. And that's how people are about me, you know, I'm normally the life of the party, I'm normally the person that makes everybody laugh, but when I step away, everybody knows something wrong, because I'm not, a, I'm, I'm anti, but I'm not anti, you know. So when I step away, everybody knows there's something wrong, but I'm glad that they all came to her aid and they were there for her. Now it's time for KK's book party and KK was giving Mama D some advice on how to deal with Cece and everybody else for Imani's party. And I like Mama D and, uh, and KK's relationship. They are, they are two sides of the same coin. I can tell you that much. So Carly and Scrap run into each other and Carly was just being, it was just front. I'm happily engaged. Girl, just last week you were acting like Mo was whooping your ass. Now you happily engaged. You trying to cap in front of Scrap and everybody else. Girl, please stop it with the bullshit. You 50. Stop acting like you 25 or 23 at that. Girl, bye. Stop acting like you're your daughter age. And then, you know, she goes outside and Jock confronts her. And she really don't take accountability for shit. Bitch, you were creating drama. And that's what you like to do. And now you want to, I got to get home to my man. I got Yeah, you got to get home to your man before you drop them blows on your ass. That's just what it is. Y'all, I'm sorry. I know it comes across like I just ran through this motherfucking review. But this shit was awful. It was awful. I, I, I just, I'm not feeling it. And I'm ready for it to be over. Like, doing this review was just a chore. Because it, like, ain't nothing entertaining about this shit. I'm over it. And next week look like it might it might be about something, but I'm over it. Like, let's move on. Um, but that being said though, I'm out of here. Be sure to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And um, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace till next time.